They just brought out new carts, too. I thought it was a shaker, but there's no holes for... Why does it... I see some angels that look interesting. Except maybe this. A glass nativity made in Taiwan. So this is what they've been doing. It's putting a whole new rack in here. It's kind of fun. The next time I come in here, it's going to be all new. And it looks like they brought out another cart. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. It is a Wednesday. That means it is senior day here in Las Vegas. And I'm doing something that I don't normally do. I'm hitting the store right when it opens. That's because I have a lot to do today to get ready to go on a little trip to San Diego. Now, don't worry, I'm already home by the time you're seeing this video. But uh, it's gonna be crowded. I'm just gonna set my expectation. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna go with the flow. We're gonna get shop done. Oh, it's bright and sunny this morning. <laughs> Let's go find ourselves a lucky cart. Let's go with the, ooh, yes, this one, very, very smooth. And for things that are green tag, we get 50% off. <gasps> they just brought out new carts too. Oh, I wonder if this is somebody's cart or these are how they're bringing stuff out now. Could go either way on that. Let's see if there's any goodies here. Ooh, Star Wars. Star Wars cookie cutter, six bucks. Okay. Oh, what are you? Oh, little wall decals. Are they sea light ones? Hmm, Christmas party decoration. I don't think, I don't think that's what's in there. I did, however, find this really cute little vintage set of salt and peppers. What does that say? Oh, I was hoping it did not have a name on it, but it does, and I can't read it through the bag. Bell Forche SG I do like that they're teak. They are $4, which would make them $2.40. Mm, let's put them in the cart. Okay, let's head back over and hit the shelves because a lot of stuff has already been put out. So let's see. This store does tend to put a lot of stuff at red tag and red tags do not have a discount. Oh, this is the glitter, the glitter nativity. These are really sweet chalkware plaques. Viola. It's got a little bit of chipping. And then there's the angels. God bless our home. These are very sweet. So our date made by Pierce's Studio, Zion, Illinois. And the phone is 2744. Well, isn't that interesting? When did a phone number only have four digits? You know what? Oh, I really like these. Even with a little bit of chipping, I really like these. I'm going to grab these. Now, are they high dollar? Are they, you know, something that's going to make me a huge profit? Probably not. Probably not. But I just have this thing sometimes. I just have to get things just because. And I know I will have a customer that will feel the same way. I love the pie. Love the pie, but we're gonna leave that. There's little pies too. That one looks like an apple pie. Okay, I can get behind I can get behind the little pies. I get the pecan pie. These are only $3.99. We're gonna grab those ones. Who am I kidding? I'm grabbing. I'm grabbing the cherry pie too. Okay, I need to be careful. I'm only on the very first section of the very first row and I'm already loading the cart. We're not gonna go crazy today. We're not gonna do it. We're gonna be reasonable. 
We're gonna look for high-end things. That's our goal, that's our mission today. Some higher-end things. That is, a, I thought it was a shaker, but there's no holes for, why does it? Okay, it's a little mystery piece. And it's a mystery piece that we do not need to pick up. Wow, look at those big, big vases. No, we're definitely not gonna deal with those. Pretty though. Nice find for somebody. It's this little guy here. Cordon Bleu, or like an oil and vinegar, or oil or vinegar. Oh no, this little guy has been here a very long time. What did I say the color was? Green, okay, he's not green. He's just 40% off. There's something so appealing about him, but he is missing his little little horn there, so we're still gonna leave him. Cute bunny. She's done quite nicely. She's from that Yadro wannabe era. Oh, turkey basket. You're fun. Got your eyes, you're in good shape. How much are you? $4.99. You know what? No, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna grab the turkey basket, not now. It's too soon. Too soon. Oh, somebody has found a whistle. That is not a pleasant noise. Okay, nothing else here. Oh, this is the same pattern that I found the other day. But these are 15 red tag. I paid five for the other ones, so I think I'm gonna leave these. I see some angels that look interesting. Ooh, very dainty. Very thin glass. $10, why? Who are you? Ooh, it's got a name. Something so, Sofera Paris, made in Italy. Hmm, all right, Sofera Paris. You're $10 red tag, but you're $5.90, oh, because you're cracked, that's why. That's, that's a shame. Hmm, I'm gonna look this up if I can. Well, there's a set of three. Someone took a best offer of 80. But that was for three, so I'm thinking that we're not gonna be able to pay 10 for one. And if we look at currently availables, 22, I don't know why there's hockey guys in here, 14, so we definitely can't pay 10 for one. And now I'm gonna look at the silver overlay cream and sugar i love when there's an actual set still together five dollars red tag five so it'd be ten ah that's that's a little hefty um these don't sell for more than about maybe 25 to 30. so paying 10 but then you know i love to rescue the old glass but I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let somebody else rescue those. 10's just a little too much and they're red tagged so there's not gonna be any discount on them. If there had been a discount, I probably would have done it. She's interesting, let's see. Let's see if we can see. Oh, she's stuck to the little felt bottom. Just don't know if that says, I think it says China. She's cool though. I do like her, but we'll leave her. They're getting racks against their sidewall again. So they're setting this store up like the two new ones that we go to. Trying to get the layout more in line with the newer stores. It's kind of cool. What are you, countdown to Christmas, stand by. Oh, it's an advent with little pull-out drawers. Okay, that's what you are. We're gonna leave you. More Christmas stuff. What is this? 
workshop scene inside Melissa and Doug. It's like little little stickers, puppy stickers, reusable puppy stickers. Okay, that's that's fun. Makes me want to be a kid again. Play with puppy stickers. Who else? Who else felt a little yearning to be young and play with puppy stickers again? Come on. You can you can confess down in the comments. And an angel who is missing a face. That's not good. And I don't see anything else. Except maybe this. A glass nativity made in Taiwan. We know it's vintage. And the last one I passed by, I had several people saying, I wish you would have gotten the nativity. It's for this one. We're going to grab. Okay, let's see if we've got any cool vases in here. I always like these that would had a clear piece sit down the middle. In fact, I'm looking over to see if there's one. Yeah, that's a little too big. Maybe. If I spot one somewhere in the store, I'll bring it back and put it in there. Just so it gets its proper home. But I don't see anything here here and the clear is not super exciting today oh that's a really pretty idea i will have to show this to uh to jordan what a kind of a simple yet beautiful little idea for a centerpiece oh it's a strawberry pot i wish i could you i have one and i wish i could get the strawberries to actually grow we have tried like three years to do it and it, it for some reason we just are not successful here I don't know if anybody is in the Las Vegas area and has been successful growing strawberries please tell me your trick because we can't seem to make it happen and it's a little distressing because I want to make it happen I really want to grow my own produce oh my goodness there is a plethora of fake fruit baggied up here but I'm going to resist Okay, we are now in the woods. Oh, you. Wait. Okay, what did that comes out? Why? What is the purpose of this hinged box? Obviously handmade, but I have no idea what its purpose in life is. Why? Why is it hinged like that? Like you couldn't put a wine bottle inside there. Okay, if anybody knows, let me know. Ooh, a little gold pan painted. These are usually done like up in Alaska. This is a very popular art form. I have purchased several of these over the year. I just hate that it's got that plant hanger, plant hanger, plate hanger on it, which we would take off post haste, but for $4.99, we're gonna pick that up. An old holder. Wish it had its completeness. It's kind of nice. Lots of big wooden boxes here today. That one is made to look, I think, like an outhouse with a little moon and the star on it. Again, not exactly sure what its purpose is. It's got a little shell. Oh, maybe for tissue? Oh, it's maybe like extra paper roll, paper, toilet paper roll holder. Geesh, get the words out, Danny. Look at this box. This is that, what is it? There's a term for this straw work. Ah, it's not coming to me, it's not coming to me. I've bought it several times, that's how I know what it is. It's, I wanna say it starts with a P? It's $13 and it's got some damage. I don't know. We're gonna leave it, but I when I'm editing this, I'm gonna I'm gonna pop the word up on the screen so you know. Little bamboo. Again, another cool piece, but I'm not sure what I would do with it. Ooh, I like 
these little wood canisters. What do they got? Four, five, and seven. That's not a bad price, actually. Good wood, made in Taiwan. These are just like decals on here. They're not actually painted, so we'll leave those. Oh, look at these vintage chicken coasters. Now they do need some love. They definitely need some love. But those are so cool, and I have never seen them before. Okay, we're grabbing those. There's no price. They're gonna have to price them up at the counter. And I think that's it for the wood shelves. All right, on to the metals. Let's see what goodness we can find. Oh, it looks like somebody's chicken collection was donated. This one is a green tag, so it is half price. It is not named. But I think for $2.50, we will get the chicken. And I think that's it for that little section. They're doing a lot of work around here still. Give me an in. All right, we got the dark metals, which are so, so hard to see on these black shelves. What is that? It's just a big metal planter. Something we don't have a use for at this time. Brass, lots of little brass cups, goblets, nice little collection. All right, that's it for the metals. Let's keep going. And today is the day we are finishing the bird wall. I am so excited. I will share that towards the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. If you've been anxiously awaiting the finished final version. Oh yeah, I'll show you the not final version. I'll show you what it's been sitting like for a couple of weeks. And then I'll show you how it looks after it's done. It's been kind of one of those projects that keeps getting pushed off for other things because that's how my life runs. My life runs in prioritizing. I do like these little dishes. It's such a great price too with 40% with off of four. Makes them only $2.40 for three dishes. I'm gonna pick these up. I can do something with these. And I'm getting super excited about getting the time back to be able to start working on my own projects again. I have promised Rachel that we are gonna make time to do that together because she wants to paint outside with some types of paints and markers and things that she can't use in her room. So I have told her, we're gonna make time. We're gonna do it. What is this? Baltimore Oriole, Annapolis Capital Black Eyed, Susan, Chesapeake Bay, the Maryland collection made exclusively for the dish. Nancy Jones, that's a lot, that's a lot of attribution there, but it is a platter and I'm gonna leave it. So this trip we're taking is kind of our reset. We're going out, we're doing a little wedding planning, we're doing a little filming in San Diego. Yep, we're gonna stop at Yermo, so that video will be coming up. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification. Uh, and then we are resetting when we get back and going to really kick into gear on our family life. And we are so, so thankful that Noah is willing to take care of everything while we're away. He is a superstar that way. Very, very responsible kid. He's not a kid anymore, oh my gosh. He's like a full grown adult now. It's hard for me to say. He's still that, that cute little adorable little, little boy. Always, sorry Noah. Noah edits the videos. You'll see his comments pop up occasionally. He might put one up now because mom's, you know, embarrassing him. These have little Batmans on them. They do. Oh my gosh. Paladone. Look at those. Okay. I have a friend who really loves Batman. I think that's tape schmush. 
and uh, I feel like I feel like that's a super cool gift that I'm gonna get. This is that liqueur that I cannot ever say. Curvo Curvoisier cognac. Yes, that. Pretty glasses. And tumblers. Ooh, there's so much happening in this store. It's kind of exciting. You hear clanking and scooting and all kinds of stuff going on in the background. These are cool. Hmm. I don't know who makes them or if they are worth picking up, but I'm trying to stay away from glassware, so I'm going to stay away from those too. Okay, we got some clear glass and it's always put your hands on it. Make sure there's not like a cut piece in there that you're missing. Because from a distance, it can look very, very similar until you really, you know, learn the discernment. Like I could see that this was pressed, but it still also never hurts just to refresh your brain too on what that pressed feels like. Oh, they're scooting racks. That's what they're doing. They're putting some new racks in place. That's an interesting piece. I'm wondering if it's meant to look crackled like that or it's broken. I don't recall this pattern, which I think is a Bartlett Collins fruit pattern. I don't recall it ever having crackling. So I have a feeling that's some internal cracking on that piece, which is unfortunate. I like the little handles on that, but that's missing a lid. Oh yes, it's getting a little loud. I don't know if you're hearing that. Hopefully not as loud as I'm hearing it. Look at this butterfly dish back here. Oh, it's glass and it's painted and it's coming unpainted. Okay. exciting here. Oh, that's too bad. That's got a big, big chip. Look at this big, I believe it's clay art. Are you? No, you're Max Sarah. Big old chip and dip poppy. So this is what they've been doing. It's putting a whole new rack in here. It's kind of fun. The next time I come in here, it's going to be all new. Copy paper, but it's legal size, so I always get fooled by that. Confetti, confetti, anyone? Okay, pet section. I don't buy too much used in the pet section, except maybe carriers. I'm just kind of weird that way. Ooh, this looks like weightlifting belts. Those are probably worth something for somebody. And then a little bit of bathroom stuff. It's got a cool look to it, but it's actually a resin made to look like wood. Got some lamps going here. It's a little bit out of sorts as they're moving stuff over here to move stuff around, but we can still peek through and see what's here. So this used to be the art wall and now they've turned it into the baggy wall. Like, that's a pretty extensive baggy wall they have made there. That's kind of cool. Okay, I kind of want to look, see what they're hiding in these carts here. Looks like belts and purses and ties and accessories as they're moving things around. Is that? Oh, I thought it was thought it was a Pac-Man tie for a moment. I'm just going to be grabbing that. And then bins of plush and toys. Oh, that's what's missing. Yeah, it looks like. Wow, it's all changing. They've got their little art wall back here. And then they've got a bunch of big art piled in a, they call these a Gaylord. Oh, let's see. Another chicken. See, somebody's chicken collection got 
donated. He's kind of a cool chicken too. He needs a price, another item that we'll have to ask for a price when we get up there. Probably most certainly these vintage chickens came out of someone's donation together. Cool photograph. Let's see what we've got over here. Oh, the world's tallest thermometer. I'm going to be driving right by that tomorrow. Baker, California. Huh. That's fun. Fun just because that's where I'm heading by tomorrow. I don't know. Was that fun for anybody else? You know, I just spit what comes out of my brain. It's, it's what I do. And sometimes it only makes sense to me. <laughs> it's kind of a cool chair. Look at the, look at the width of that chair. Very elegant. So they put up a whole bunch more grid wall. And on the grid wall, they are hanging art, which is great. That is, I, that is the best way to display art and the best way to get it sold. And then we have blankets and pillows are now here on the back wall. And they're still loading that up. Look at that. It's a brown granny square afghan. Looks quite large. Ah, not something I want to deal with today. So now the miscellaneous textiles are over here and we will take a peek because this is where you just never know what's going to end up here. Oh, there's another piece that looks like it goes with the one that's all rolled up over there. It's okay. It's not, not super exciting. I'm more of a color girl. And of course, you know, I have to look through for the placemats and the tablecloths for anything exciting. Still, someone gave the, the uh, a couple people gave the suggestion to use my pool table for taking pictures of the tablecloths, and that was a brilliant idea, and we are going to utilize that. Thank you, thank you. I don't know why those things just don't come to my brain. So this used to be the pillows and the blankets. They've moved the kids' shoes and accessories and then made a toy baggy wall over here. Oh, Flatfoot Fox in the case of the nosy otter. And purses are back over on this wall where they started out. So we'll come back over here and see what we can find. Since it is 40% off day there, there's more of a chance and it's in the morning like I'm here before it's all completely picked over too, which doesn't normally happen for me. What is that? Something Jenna De Rossi. Jenna De Rossi sounds fancy. Not something that really sparked a lot of excitement in me though, so. Let's see. No, no. Look at this little Tahari, little red. I mean, it's just cute. It's cute as can be, but it is red tagged $12.99. So we're going to leave it. All right. Looks like no purses for us today. Oh my goodness. Look at these purple. Kind of satiny looking shoes. There's like a whole bunch of them. So this used to be dresses, like their formal wear and stuff. Now they've turned it into kind of their book and media corner. And it looks like they brought out another cart. Oh no, this has their new stuff, their new yellow stuff. So they're probably getting ready to set these shelves back up. So let's head over to the jewelry counter. All right, let's see. What has not been picked over yet today? Hmm. I don't know what they did with their designer purses. They moved them from the front and they're no longer here. I 
don't see anything real exciting. Did I miss something? Let me know in the comments if there's something you think that I should have looked closer at because I'm just not seeing it. Well, I think that's going to do it for us here. Let's head to the checkout. Stay tuned for the recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. That's coming up right now. And then don't, don't forget to stick around and see the completed bird wall. far as we got the first time and I'm absolutely in love with what how much we got done I do have two spots right there that I'm I need the right art to go there but this side I couldn't love it anymore I'm so excited and on this side I gotta find either like two pieces to go here or one kind of just right it's it's an odd it's an odd placement and then i need one nice square filler right there and then this side will be done i just i just ran out of art so with that you go be profitable and make it fun